This is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is Chris Abraham, The Chris Abraham Show, Season 5, Episode 30. Today's episode, this is kind of an intro while I'm walking to get my coffee and to sit down and do the rest of the episode. This episode is basically about the fact that I do not have the strong belief, or I don't have it in me, I just do not have the courage or the, uh, I don't know, the temporary insanity to believe that, you know, 9-11 was a false flag or that the CIA killed John F. Kennedy or that the uh, COVID epidemic was a a bioweapon. I don't believe that There is a scourge of public prosecutors and public defenders who are releasing violent criminals. And I don't believe that 12 and 13 year old girls are are, uh, carjacking cars. I don't believe that everybody's going around uh, stealing car parts. I don't believe that uh, the vaccine has injured and killed more people than the, uh, than COVID-19. I find it impossible to believe that there's, uh, pedophile rings run by billionaires such as Bill Gates and Jeffrey Epstein and, and, uh, those guys where they traffic in, uh, tween age girls. I don't believe that there's Adrenochrome, I do not believe that abortion is uh, blood sacrifice to Baal. I do not and cannot believe that um, that the only reason the Ukraine war is happening is because we need to cut the recession and, and depression off at the, we need to cut it off at the pass. And so we have to have a very expensive, profitable war. I don't believe that, um, I certainly don't believe that Putin is actually as much of a puppet in this whole thing as is uh, Zelensky. I mean, how the heck can we just hire actors and make them puppets and pay them with promises of making them oligarchs and billionaires themselves? I mean, there's no way I can believe that the world is already a world government uh, run by the, you know, UN. I don't even believe it when my buddy Mark told me that uh, the United Nations all around the world, like there's totally prostitution rings associated with the UN all the way back to when I'm reported in the 90s. I, I don't believe that uh, the State Department is covering up for the fact that when women are uh, ambassadors or do public affairs work for NGOs or or work at the embassies in third world countries or, or even work for the Peace Corps, I do not believe that there's active suppression of how many women are assaulted, date raped, raped, and even killed who are in the field. I don't want to believe any of these things, right? Like, it's really too hard to believe. So I just live in my cute little neighborhood, and everybody's friendly, and everybody's nice. And then I hear these mad, crazy stories from the outside and give them very little uh, attention. I just assume that they're fictions, they're hearts and mind fictions that are there to kind of make us more compliant because when we're in fear and we're creating our own adrenochrome or our own adrenaline and we're 
messing with our parts of our brains that respond to existential crises, you know, I believe that, uh, I, I actually, if anything, I believe that everything is more like Wag the Dog, where there are elaborate sound stages producing uh, moon landings and producing wars and um, and that there aren't terrible things. I believe that they're all sort of like what happened in the uh, Iraqi-Kuwait war, where uh, Hill and Knowlton created a fake uh, a fake atrocity where uh, Iraqis really didn't go into uh, NICUs and throw uh, premature babies onto the floor, letting them die. Um, but I do know when there are wars that there's no such thing as battlefields, and anybody who pretends that women and children and babies are in any way not constantly being killed in war, need to go back and look at Nagasaki and Hiroshima and see how civilian casualties is not a uh, war crime. It's like a Tuesday. Um, killing civilians is like, is like a Tuesday when it comes to war. So I don't believe all those things because my life is pretty gentle. All the harm that's ever come to me, I've done to myself. All the harm that's ever come has been, you know, part of my culpability. Uh, people in my neighborhood smile at me, and we have chats, and I have coffee with them, and I say, good morning, I say, bonjour, I say, buenos dias, todo bien. I say assalamu alaikum, uh, and uh, I'm trying to get the observant Jewish guy at the library. Uh, he's kind of sketch about me, so I'm hoping at some point I can greet him with shalom and hope that he doesn't think I'm fucking with him. Anyway, I don't even think this is going to be the introduction. I think today, you're lucky, today is going to be a wicked short podcast, and I think I might start doing them this way, because, like, I need to walk to uh, get my first coffee anyway, and since the uh, recordings I do on, uh, on Penrose Square are loud and annoying anyway, I might as well do it while I'm walking, right? And maybe I have better ideas while I'm walking. Oh, for your information... I'm wearing my traditional stretchy athletic uh, black Russell shorts and a Eddie Bauer tall black t-shirt and I'm wearing one of my funky sniper boonie hats and I'm wearing a pair of these $29 cheap cyclist clear plastic sunglasses and I am wearing my uh, fancy Huck, Huck, Huckberry. I'm wearing my fancy Huckberry Coyote Ugly, uh, Coyote Brown, uh, Go Ruck G1 26 liter. That is the name of Dawn because when she got all dirty, I washed her in Dawn, so that's now her name. I'm wearing a pair of used off of eBay OD Noble Trainers. Here comes a truck. Wow. That's a dirty truck. That's a diesel truck right there. And I'm carrying my ThinkPad X220 with a battery base with Linux Mint. I am listening to my podcast on what's called an uh, X300 XT headset by Bluetooth. I'm sorry, by Blue Parrot. And I am, what else? Wearing wicked cheap uh, white cotton uh, crew, crew socks that I'm going to wear and then 
after wearing for a few months. If they get really nasty, I'll just let them go. Um, but yeah, I tried no socks, and man, my feet are just sweaty and stinky and awful, so forget that. And my phone is a Samsung Galaxy S20. S20? S22? S22 Ultra? I don't remember. And there's construction happening on the street to my left, so that's fun. That's some ASMR. And what else? On my left wrist, I'm wearing a Garmin Instinct 1 Solar. And on my right wrist, I'm wearing some sort of Fitbit, but I completely forget what brand, what type it is. And on my chest, I have a Hill Good People Gear uh, medium size. Is it medium size? It's called the uh, Runner. And it has a zippered pocket in the front and one uh, main pocket. And it's made out of gray ripstop nylon. And that's it. I think that's it. In my bag, I have a Nalgene stainless steel bottle. I have... Uh, a uh, GORUCK GR2 pouch and a GORUCK GR1 pouch. I have stuff like that. Anyway, love you guys. Hope you're entertained. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.